Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're gonna build this. So this is my gear stand. It just holds my gear. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, maybe you store your equipment in a different manner, which is great. However, I like to put my stuff on a gear stand so that I can grab it when I want it, and it just uh, kind of looks cool. So I'm gonna show you how to build this. It's extremely simple. You really just need a drill, a box of two and a half inch screws, four two by fours, and a saw, and you're pretty much good to go. There are a bunch of different modifications you could make to this and different changes and whatever. Knock yourself out. I consider myself an amateur's amateur woodworker. Uh, so this is kind of what I came up with. Hope you enjoy it. I hope it's helpful. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut two five foot pieces. Uh, I'll put a total cut list down in the description box below. After I cut those two five foot pieces, I'm gonna cut two 30 inch pieces. And these will be used as the kind of cross beam, the main cross part. After that, I'll cut a total of five two foot pieces. And these will be used to uh, build the legs and then the shelf for the uh, shelf part. I know you're not supposed to cut across your body like that, but I survived. So here I'm going to screw the two five foot pieces together, just line them up as best I could, and then I screw them together in a zigzag like pattern. You could glue them together, you could use more screws, you can do whatever you want. Just find a way to attach them and kind of build your own four by four. Uh, post there. You could just buy a 4x4 four four post if you want, but 2x4s are a lot cheaper and you don't really need to do anything special with this. Yes, I did actually put ears on here because my impact driver was really loud. Uh, apparently the wood I got was very uh, tough wood or something. Here I'm just going to square up as best I can the cross piece. I just centered it on there and then screwed it down. Uh, one of the things I didn't end up going back to do was I put five screws through the cross pieces. So what I would tell you to do is just put four in a general box shape and then put one right through the middle. And then once you get one side done, just flip it over and do the other side. When it comes to finishing this thing, you can paint it, you can stain it, you can do whatever you want. I just left it bare because I don't really care too much about that. It's just a simple gear stand for me. Once you get those cross pieces on, go ahead and center the legs on. So you're just going to do one side, just take a two foot piece there, center it best you can. What I did here was I put four screws in a box pattern. So I just put four screws in to hold the legs in place. one side then do the other side after this we'll come putting in the other two cross pieces that are going to prevent it from shifting forward or back and for those I just lined up the best I could and then I put two screws through the 2x4 into each leg for a total of four screws to hold those on One side, flipped it over, do the other side. Center it up as best you can. You can square them out and check them with the T-square. I didn't do anything fancy like that, but you could if you wanted. After that, I put the shelf uh, holder on, and I measured about 30 inches, I think, down from the top cross beam. Just try to give myself enough room there to be able to hang my plates and belt over. And then I just put that in, and I believe I put another uh, box of screws in there, so I just put four screws in a box pattern. You can use two and a half inch screws here. I think I used three and a half inch to get more stability. To cut the shelf, I just had a piece of uh, scrap lying around. I used my table saw. Again, you could use your circular saw, it would be just fine. Uh, but I just cut it on my table saw. Here I just lined up the shelf and then I just screwed it down with four screws onto that two by four that I put down previously. You could even forego the shelf altogether if you really don't want it, but I think it's helpful to just have a nice little shelf to rest extra stuff on. 
Here it is here. A helmet goes on top, plates on one side, belt on the other. I got my little shelf there. You could even leave, lean your rifle against it if you really like. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was helpful. Two brave deeds and endure.